Hey everybody! No, I didn't get arrested or killed. I just have had a shit ton of homework. So that's my dog. Um, this is a book review on not Nick and Nora. I'll explain that in a minute. What is wrong with you, stupid dog? Um, it's on Hanging on to Max by Margaret Betchard. I don't know how to pronounce that name. So I'm going to say Betcher. This was actually a really, really short, good read. It's 204 pages. Um, and I kind of, I like the story behind it and what the story's about. I'll read you the back. It says, Sam's senior year should be a breeze. Parties, football, pep rallies, and oh yeah, a baby. For Sam Pettigrew's last year of high school, He'll be spending it figuring out how, at the age 17, he is supposed to care for his baby son, Max. Max wasn't part of the plan. He hadn't even been part of the backup plan. But he's here now, and Sam is attemp attending an alternative high school with other teen parents like himself. Talk about a wake-up call, but Sam is determined to make it work and show everyone, his dad, his new girlfriend himself, that he has what it takes to be a good dad. Trading footballs for diaper bags and college brochures for feeding schedules. Sam will give fatherhood his only his best shot. Only no one told him how, to, how hard it would be, but it's his best good enough. I really have been waiting and waiting and waiting to read this book. But I was so afraid to read it because I was so afraid that I wasn't going to like it after all this wait. I was wrong. I loved this book. It got a 5 out of 5 on my Goodreads. And I was so, so excited to get this book done. Like I said, it's about Sam who is attempting to raise his son, Max. Which I want more of. I want more books, YA books, about fathers. Um, you always have the books about the teenage girls getting knocked up and having to take care of the baby because they don't want to help. This is finally a book where mama don't want the baby, but dad wants the baby wants to take the responsibility. And that's refreshing because there are guys out there who are willing to take the responsibilities of being a father, but either the girl aborts or gives the baby up for adoption without giving him a choice. He has Sam has that choice and he takes advantage of that choice. In the the ending of this book I will give you is so Oh my god, I finished this book in school. It took every part of me not to like scream at Sam, cry, and just flip my shit on him. <sighs> I get really into books. And I was like you know, what he what Sam ends up doing is better for Max. I'm trying not to give everything away. But what he does is better for Max and helps him out a lot. And it's really a sweet ending. If you're one of those people who just reads the last chapter of the book, this book will make no sense to you. Because I... I had to read the last chapter like four times before I got it, and it made no sense to me. So, but I do recommend this book. I really, I love it. It's, it's such a good book. This is not my copy, by the way. I do not have a copy of this book. I got it from the library. <laughs> Don't be knocking the libraries, okay? Nikki. Yes, I'm wearing my Hello Kitty necklace that I got for Christmas. I got this on this morning and I don't know how exactly I'm going to get it off because it's kind of choking me. Me. I'm used to things choking me. Right now I'm reading like four to five books. I don't have all of them up here. I'm reading two different books called Exposed. This is one of them. Um, it's written in verse. I'm only that far. Yes. 
Yes, my name is actually Haley, by the way. This, um, I'm going to be reading this very soon. If I don't fall off the bed, I'm going to be, re I'm reading this. I told you there's two books called Exposed. And they're about two totally different things. This is about photography. This is about predators on the internet. This is about rape. I also read this book, but I'm not counting it because it's so tiny. Yeah, I'll count graphic novels, but not these. It's also written in verse. It was a really quick read. It's called Almost Forever. It's not going towards my challenge, but it's really, like, you could stand there and read this book. It's so short, but it's a really good book. Um... I also was reading Hush Hush, and I kind of just put it down. Oh, why I stopped reading Nick and Nora? I... God, it was so boring. They gave me some paranormal, some exciting, so I started reading Hush Hush, and then I got four books for my work, and read one, and now I'm... Now I'm back where I started. So, after these books, I am done reading for my work for a while. I need to read some of my own books. But I have a book haul coming for you guys very soon. It's only got like four or five books. So. It's not that big of a haul. My mini haul. That'll be my mini haul. But I have one book that I'm very, very excited about. And you're going to ask my boyfriend. I flipped my shit when I found this book at Walmart. So. But I'm going to go before I die and I have homework. So. I will talk to you guys later. Hey, we you guys soon. Oh. And I must say this for my boyfriend. <clears throat> I love you, honey. <laughs> he hates that voice. So I have to do it every once in a while. So, bye.